Yo, yo, what is going on? I am the Wide Martian. Today I'm going to share with you my startup journey. So I hadn't been making YouTube videos for a while, I think for a year now, um, because I had been working on something, sort of like a startup in the fintech business. So I tried to get into it. I'm basically going to share with you my idea and I'm going to show you the implementation of it. And I'm going to tell you how far I went with it and basically where, where did I stop because I did stop eventually. Somewhere in 2019, I had this idea of building a piggy bank. Um, and the whole idea or the backbone behind it was, you know, I wanted people to be able to save money as little as possible. So uh, for an example, like the norm right now is only to save money when you get paid at the end of the month, which means you only get an opportunity to save money basically 12 times uh, a year. And you always wait for that time because you have money and you put out basically a big cut, like five grand um, or 10 grand, doesn't matter. But my idea was, what if you could put away like five rands? So a rands is the currency that we use in South Africa. Or in America, what if you were to put away one pound or one dollar? Wouldn't that be cool? Basically, the idea was to build, as I've described here, your usual piggy bank, but fully digital. And I gave it the ability to put away real money, not just um, like a record of where the money is, but just a record of where the money is and a place where actually the money is. Basically, how it worked was, right, you put in your card into the app, you link it to your actual uh, bank card, and then you start buying these virtual products that have different amounts and all represents real money. So you can buy like a sticker for two rand, sticker for five rand, sticker for ten rand, and then you could request a payout at a certain amount. And this is what it looks like. So these are some of the features. This is actually the app. And these are the some of the features. You, you could accept payments. You could make payment. You link it to your bank card. Some automated payouts. Uh, transactional, right? So there were no subscriptions, no monthly fees. A truly pay as you use platform is how I described it. So basically you put in your money in and you take your money out. That's it. No service fees, nothing. Um, it was secured. So I was using emails for login. And then sort of like how a bank app would work. And then I would use PIN so that you don't have to put in your password and all the time. And then for payments, it, it was using, it is using 3D uh, secure protocol. And you can transfer money between uh, customers or users. And these transactions were free in the sense that you're not really moving money, you're just moving ownership of transactions. And you could get your transactional history and it was, it's pretty much very easy to sign up. And these are some of the screenshots of it. So, so I'll give you like an example here. So this was the profile and this is what your bank card would look like once you've added it in. And basically, this is the screen where you would request the payout. This would be all your transfers if you had, you know, moved money around between your friends. And this is what a transaction transaction details screen. This is the sign up screen, sign in screen. So the sign in screen, uh, this is where you would click sign in and it asks you for your pin. So it, it would ask you for your PIN every time uh, you log in, kind of like uh, your bank would ask you for your, like, scan your finger. This is the main side menu. Basically, you have your payouts, you have the payments, you could request a payment, you could pay someone, and you had your transaction history, transfers history, um, you had your card and beneficiaries as well. And this is basically uh, the main screen. This is the main screen you would see first when you, after you've logged in. 
Uh, you have a stick. You have stickers, and each sticker is worth a specific amount, like specific amount. And whenever you bought it, it would go. It would go to your transactions, and this is basically would be like the amount that you have then your balance. Um, and what it was doing was whenever you request a payout it just looks looks through your transactions and your stickers ah this is when you requested a payment so this is how this app looked like and yeah i built this for six months took me six months to build this uh it was a solo project and yeah i built it and then i deployed it on uh google play google play store i'll put it out for testing um yeah and and then i was working on like having this deployed on ios obviously you need a mac for that and the mac isn't something i had or could afford but at the moment i'm using one god is good um yeah so this this went really well like until towards the end of it right the problem so this is one of the lessons i've learned about this the problem with this project was i built it from a developer's perspective right as soon as i had the idea i had that sort of mentality like someone is probably thinking about it as well you better build it quickly right and i did build it and think i did build it quickly and then i think i was more worried about my abilities in building this project more than like after i've built it after i've completed the deployment then what like how is it going to look like in the hands of a user how will i get it there and that's basically what happened i built this project completed it and when i wanted it to go to production like get it to the hands of the customers and i was sort of like hit with some hard realities turns out you need a whole lot of certifications when you are going to be dealing with uh, people's money a whole lot of compliances uh, you need to be compliant with this and that and more than the compliances the other problem was this there's a lot of fees when it comes to making transactions online yeah there's a lot of processes around it and the uh, uh the fees are not standard in the sense they're specific to a business and the need of the business like what do you want to do so that's one of the hard lessons i've learned about building this thing and i actually don't regret some of them um i've learned to trust more on my abilities and just think about the end result not build things from like an engineer's perspective i mean granted it's was a bit of a waste of 6 months i could have spent it building a to do app but uh you live you learn anyway the fun side is so this is my github and i basically used sort of like a microservice architecture when i built this thing uh so i built the main api using c# .net core and then i built a whole lot of service around it actually i built the app using ionic because it was the quickest thing for me to get out i had a socket service that works with uh 3d secure so it's sort of like uh works on 3d verification sort of security things like that and i had a settlement service basically for just payouts uh paying out and settlement verifying those transactions and giving messages as needed and then i had a transaction validator just to make sure like each transaction that goes through this uh the main api each payment is valid and then i think this was the last one this was uh notifications so the notification service was mostly just sending out sms's emails and notifying people of stuff um and as i said here it's it's it was a nine time urgent notifications yeah so that's pretty much what i was doing this whole time all i was away i've got a lot of other projects on the pipeline as well 
and I've decided now, well, I've sort of learned now to put more um, to put more time into planning. You know, you need to plan something out. So yeah, if you like this video and if you have any suggestions at all that comes with side projects and whatnot, and if you have made something before, you can just link it up in the comments and let me know what's what. Peace out.